Wamenjika. Firstly, let's thank four amazing players for a terrific mixed doubles final here in Rod Laver Arena today. Joining us for our presentations, I'd like to welcome Tennis Australia Tournament Director, Craig Tiley. <laughs> Tournament Referee, Wayne McEwen. And our Chair Umpire for this match today, Eva Azdaraki moore from Greece. Would you please also welcome, with 30 doubles Grand Slam championships between them, Judy Dalton and Todd Woodbridge, who will be presenting today's trophies. First, I'd like to invite Eva Azdaraki moore to come up and receive the chair umpire's plate from Wayne McEwen. Thank you, Eva, and happy birthday. I would now like to ask Todd to present the trophy to our finalists. First of all, congratulations on a great game to Sanya Mirza and Rohan Bapana from India. And I would like to invite them forward to collect their trophies and say a few words. Thank you, everyone. Uh, definitely very different, uh, this final, especially, uh, you know, playing with Sanya. Uh, before I get to Sanya, I would like to thank uh, the entire team who's been with us, uh, supporting us uh, these two weeks. So thank you so much. Uh, congrats to Stephanie and Matos for a fantastic title and wish you guys the best for the entire season. And uh, congrats to your team also. And uh, of course, you know, it's truly special for me to play along uh, with Sanya. I mean, uh, uh, she did uh, mention it uh, earlier in a match that our first mixed doubles together was when she was 14 years old when we happened to win the title. And today we get to play, you know, the last match here on uh, Rod Lever Arena. It, unfortunately, we couldn't get the title, but, uh, you know, the, you, Thank you for all so much what you have done for the Indian tennis. <laughs> Not only Indian tennis, but uh, inspiring each and every one across the world, uh, you know, playing uh, tennis at the highest level for so many, so many years. And, uh, uh, you know, I think, uh, you know, it really shows the amount of uh, dedication and hard work you've put through and through. So congrats for a fantastic career and, uh, you know, wishing you a great, great retirement. And uh, I know your son is here uh, enjoying the entire time. Your parents are here. And uh, thankfully, our, my daughter has been a very close friend of your son. So we've, uh, you know, it's really fantastic to have them all here. My wife's here. So thank you, guys, uh, once again. And congrats, Sanya, for a fantastic career. Thank you. that if I cry, these are happy tears, they're not sad tears, so that's just a disclaimer. Um, first of all, thank, congratulations to our opponents. This is your moment, and I really don't want to take it away, and, and I really, really, you know, from the bottom of my heart, you guys played amazing, you deserve to win today, so congratulations, and good luck. Um, I still, uh, I'm still going to play a couple more tournaments, but my journey of my uh, professional career started in Melbourne. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> oh, 
It started in Melbourne in 2005 when I played Serena Williams in the third round here as an 18-year-old. And that was, scarily enough, 18 years ago. And I have had the privilege to come back here again and again and, and win some tournaments here and play some great finals um, amongst you all. And it's Rod Laver Arena has really been special in my life. And um, I couldn't think of a better arena to finish my career at in a Grand Slam. So thank you so much for making me feel at home here. Like Rohan said, Rohan was my first ever mixed doubles partner when I was 14 and we won the nationals. Um, it wasn't the same arena like this one, but um, it was a long time ago. It was 22 years ago and I'm, I couldn't think of a better person. He's one of my best friends and one of my best partners to finish my career here and to play the final. Obviously, we couldn't get over the line, but there's no better place for me and person for me to finish my a Grand Slam career with. So thank you, Rohan, for playing. Um, lastly, and mostly actually, um, our families who are here uh, with us, our team. Um, it's, uh, I never thought that I would be able to play in front of my child in a Grand Slam final. So it's truly special for me to have my four-year-old here um, and my parents here and Rohan's wife here, Scotty, um, everyone, my trainers, my family from Australia who made me feel like home away from home. Um, Cara Black, who's one of my best friends and one of my first partners. So thank you so much for all the support all week, guys. It's, and all my life, really. It's been truly, truly special, and I wouldn't have achieved anything without each and every single one of you. So thank you very much for everything, and thank you, Australia, for making me feel at home. Thank you. Thanks, Craig. We would also like to take this moment to congratulate Sonia Mirza on a wonderful career and wish her all the best with her future. And we've got a little gift and some flowers as well. And now, to accept the champion's trophy from Judy and hopefully say a few words, would you please make some noise for our 2023 Australian Open Mixed Doubles Champions, Luisa Stefani and Rafael Matos from Brazil. First of all, sorry about today, Misa, but uh, we really, really want it. Uh, congrats on your amazing career. Um, Luisa, thank you very much for, for this, these two weeks, actually this, this month. Uh, it was a special play with another Brazilian to play with you. Such a good energy, good communication uh, on the court and, and outside the court. For our team, I think we, we worked Really good this, these two weeks. We were focused on what we want and we did it. Um, and also for every Brazilian who came support us here and for the ones from Brazil who sent a lot of energy for us. It was really nice, really, really exciting. Um, really, really happy with this, this moment. Uh, it's a dream come true. When you were a kid, you were, you were always dreaming win a slam and do it, do it today it's i don't know it's no words to to describe it so really happy with that 
Thank you, Australia, and see you next year. Well, um, first of all, I want to congratulate Rohan and Sonia for first an amazing tournament, but also especially for an incredible career. I know how much you, people you have inspired and careers like yours, both of yours. I know you guys used to have a few tournaments and Rohan, you as well, uh, in a season ahead but inspire so much our countries, like Brazil, like India. This means so much to, to our countries. It inspires the kids, it inspires the next generations. And so moments... And so to be standing here with you, um, it's really special for me and Rafa as well. It's an honor and I know how much you've inspired um, so many people back, back home as well. So congratulations to you and, and your team. I've also had a special connection with India. I have a former coach from India, and I love the culture. So thanks, India, for uh, doing so much for tennis. Rafa, I, I can't thank you enough for these few weeks and our team. But I'll just short story. I think it was about Wimbledon time last year. He asked me to play how I was doing. I was doing rehab closer to coming back, but I was still working hard and when he asked me when I was coming back so maybe we could play some mix that was a big motivation for me to keep working hard keep getting closer to coming back and now here we are just winning our first Grand Slam together in Australia in this beautiful court amazing day in front of this amazing crowd lots of Brazilians here our box is a dream come true so it's really special and um, incredible to share this dream with you and with our team, Leo Gui, Peniza, Betinha Tai, everybody who's there and came to support us not only today but every day. And I can't, I need to also shout out to my team back home who worked so hard to, to get me here and get me the opportunity to be here today um, after a long and tough year. I also like to thank everybody for coming out the tournament for being such an incredible tournament and my favorite out of all of them. And thank you, I'll finish here. Thanks, see you next year. Tennis fans, one more time, please put your hands together for your 2023 mixed doubles champions, Luisa Stefani and Rafael Matos. We'd like to congratulate all finalists here today who will now come forward to have their photos taken with their trophies. We'd like to thank each and every one of you for choosing to spend your day with us. The ma next match up on Rod Laver Arena today is a men's singles match and a, fi sem a semi-finals between Karen Kachanoff and Stefanos Tsitsipas not far away. So many emotions. Ew, ew.